Hi children, welcome to today's session. Uh, in the last class, we have studied about houses and types of houses, right? Four types of houses means in four states, what are the specialities of the houses in four states. And now we can see the remaining and I had given few homeworks. First we can discuss the homework, then we can move to the next topic. Uh, true or false, you have to do in the textbook only. You can see the answer, you can correct your mistakes. Name three special types of houses. If you didn't get, you can take this one. Pakka house, kacha house and boat house. Three types of houses. You can have to do in the textbook. This answer is just to correct there. Then next question there in the textbook. What type of house will you build on mountain that receive heavy snowfall? If it is heavy snowfall area, what type of house you will make there? The houses here have wooden flooring, right? Wooden flooring, I'll make wooden flooring and the roofs are sloped to let the snow slide down. For easy uh, slide down of snow, we will make the roof into sloped shape. Right, two difference between a mud house and a stilt house. A mud house is made up of mud and it is built in dry areas. Mud house in Rajasthan, right? In Rajasthan, dry areas, hot areas, mud house. And a stilt house is made up of bamboo poles and has sloped roof. Stilt house in Assam, stilt houses are there made up of bamboo poles. Okay, they are making the houses on the top of bamboo poles and has sloped roof. Then circle the correct answer for each of these. See the answers, correct answers are there, you can check it. Then now we can move to the next topic. Building materials and builders. So I have told you for building of a house, we need so many properties, materials and also helpers, people needed to make a house. So these are the materials we need to make a house. See woods are there, sand is there, iron uh, or steel is there, uh, stone, cement, these are the materials. Bricks, cement, Sand, stones, wood, iron, steel. These are the materials used for making a house. Bricks, cement, sand, stones, wood, iron and steel. You have to learn it. Bricks, cement, sand, stones, wood, iron and steel. Next we can see people who help in building of a house. A different group of types of people they are helping uh, to make a beautiful house first one an architect see here one architect is there see she is doing drawing something according to the uh, place according to the place they are making the according to the facility okay they are making a plan then only we have to make the house makes plan architects main duty is make a plan of a house according to the space available according to the place according to the climate according to the space available an architect is making a plan plan is the main important he is he is making a plan for a house according to the space available then a laborer laborer as we know who is working hard for making house carries bricks and sand at a construction site to help building houses see the laborer what he is doing he is helping to construct the house well so laborer is the person who carries bricks and helping the main one to as a uh, helper and he is uh, helping in the construction process and building of a house so the laborer is a man who is carrying bricks or helping the main person then next one next two person is a mason a mason mason Lays bricks, he makes the mixer, or mixer to make a strong wall. Then they plaster the walls with the cement for a smooth finish. So the person, he is the main one to build a house, mason. See here you can see he is keeping the bricks and he is pasting that particular uh, product. Means mixed up of cement and the sand that we are keeping in between the bricks and building the wall. So he lays the bricks. He is keeping the bricks like that way. 
then mix the mixture to make it strong wall he is making a strong wall by mixing the cement then they plaster the walls they are finishing they are finishing the wall and uh, with the cement for a smooth finish even when you are seeing your wall first they made they uh, they kept the bricks there later they plaster the cement on the wall so that is the duty of mason he is the main one next person is a carpenter makes windows doors cupboards and other furnitures using different types of machines and a carpenter is making the doors windows all other materials he is making a plumber as we know a plumber see for the uh, water uh, facility for the toilets or the bathrooms we need a plumber fixes pipes and taps in the kitchen and the bathrooms right in the bathroom in the kitchen toilets needed the facility water facility we need so a plumber will be doing fixing pipes and getting the water and fixing pipes and taps in the kitchen and bathrooms also next one is uh, an electrician and electrician is there electrician see uh, it is electrician okay it is not plumber it is electrician he does the electrical wiring in a house and fixes various electrical appliances electrician is needed to get lighting our house right uh, he fixes electrical wiring and make various electrical appliances a painter as we know he paints a house well paints a wall and ceiling of a house he will be painting the total house then next one houses what's the quality and maintenance what are the qualities of a good house and how can we maintain a good house to be very neat and clean two points what are the qualities of a good house then second one how can we maintain to keep the house clean and well first we can see the qualities of a good house how should be well ventilated ventilation means what how to proper air supply will be there proper ventilation up doors windows will be there a house should have doors and windows to receive enough sunlight and air as we know doors and windows needed bathroom should be close to the bedroom for easy usage bathrooms should be closer to the bedroom kitchen should have much space and facility to draw out smoke so in the kitchen as we know while we are cooking uh, the forks are cooking uh, smokes will be there so there should be uh, exhaust fan like that facilities should be there in the kitchen dining room should be close to the kitchen why from the kitchen we are uh, cooking food in the kitchen in the dining room we are having the food so it is easy to take to that way so dining uh, dining room should uh, near to our kitchen living room should be adjoining the dining room so living room also just uh, near to dining room in the living room maybe our guest will be reaching and they are just taking rest in the uh, they are sitting in the living room and if we need to serve food it will be easy Uh, if the dining room is near to living room there should be an open area for entertainment uh, means uh, our balconies or the yard okay these are needed for just for entertainment a proper drainage system drainage system means means the waste water flowing don't simply spread here and there proper drainage should be there proper drinking water supply we should have proper drinking water supply then last point is how to maintain our house house should be regularly swept and mopped we have to clean the floor regularly we have to clean it every day pest control should be done to keep insects away means insect means cockroach or mice it will be there in our houses so you have to use pest control ways to remove it out use clean and well covered dustbins for disposing waste you have to keep the dustbins for disposing waste dispose the used containers and other unwanted items we have to dispose it used containers or plastics whatever we are using we have to dispose it then get the house painted once in a few years okay uh, after 5 or 6 years how to uh, make the house to be painted to get a clean surroundings or clean house always check the water pipes for the leakage so uh in the house sometimes we may face the pro problem of water leakage here and there somewhere else so you have to check on that and if the damages are there we have to overcome that we have to make it 
uh, well. So these uh, have to use pest control should be neat and clean. Uh, should have dustbins dispose the waste and paint once in a few years and check the water facility process means if it is working well or not just to check and go on so like this way we can clean our house and uh, these are the qualities of good house okay good house should have these all the qualities and so many people needed for making good house plumber architect painter laborer mason they are needed for making good houses so you have to study what all the people what are the materials needed for making good house and the people who are helping uh, for making a good house and how to maintain the house well and what are the qualities of a good house so learn that understand main point just to by heart main points and read the topics three times compulsory you have to read the uh, these three topics three times and write the answers of let us try on page number 240 in your textbook okay see here textbook only uh, let us try on page number 20, 240 is there so there few questions are there just to write the answer in the textbook and read the chapter well understand the people who are helping for making a beautiful building and how to maintain the house neat and well read that and next topic we can see in the next class Okay, children, thank you.